But they were good days. Like yeah, I was back in '88 as well, back to nature, and that was funny. Just recording with Prowls and Jace, and I guess I'd known Prowls for walls, but didn't really know him that well back then. And it just it was a real, it was a real warm time within hip hop because everyone's trying to make it grow, and everyone's just so helpful for each other, and just so hungry to just make it something. You know, and back then it was weird because most of the most of the dudes doing it were good. Where, and because and we were sort of the, the first, I guess, it was a unique sound and we had our own sort of vibe and our own sound where a lot of people, because there's so many MCs these days, they sound very similar. So they don't have their own thing and they don't, I guess, they didn't have the chance to take off like we did. So it's just, I guess, it was, yeah, back, back then, you know, we put in the effort. These days, dudes waiting around for someone asking to do gigs. We didn't do that. We just, we made the gigs happen. We went out there and we called people and shit. <laughs> That was some shit that I was on then. And as you progress through life and you become a bit older, a bit wiser, or you, you want to hope that you become a bit wiser, I used to sort of look at the world in a naive way, you know. I used to think it was all fun and, and, and everything's gonna be alright, like the Bob Marley song, and fucking, you know, I was just living day to day and, and everything was new and shit, but. You know, I went through periods in my 20s that, was, that were kind of tough and they tested me as a human being and I just feel like I'm more in tune with uh, the world and the way it actually operates now and, you know, and everything isn't fucking fine and dandy. It's not all sweet and rosy, you know. Uh, it'd be great if it was. It'd be great if life was all about just going to the hip-hop club, picking up a chick, rapping, you know, getting drunk, getting stoned. All that sort of shit would be great. But the reality of life is it's a fucking day-to-day -day struggle. It's a grind. There's a lot of evil powers at work trying to fucking stop every single human being's fucking person, personal growth, you know what I mean? We're, we're living in an age of robots, you know? Human beings are becoming fucking programmed, you know? And it's like, I'm sort of, I'm aware to the fucking the darker, darker side of life now. And I, I don't like to think that you know, a lot of people like to term our music dark, but I don't see it as dark per se, as in wall dark, I see it as in like deep dark, you know what I mean, it's like blood red, you know what I mean, one day the sky's gonna turn fucking blood red, you know, we got fucking tsunamis, we got fucking hurricanes, it's just the start of this shit, you know what I mean, so that's what blood red was about, mate, you know, come up with the title, let's fucking rock that shit. Blood red. Look into the skies, it's blood red We all about to die, it's blood red Look into the skies, it's blood red Mark blood red, mark blood red Look into the skies, it's blood red We all about to die, it's blood red Look into the skies, it's blood red What blood red The cross crumbles, your front stumble like a drunk Out the bomb and never had a search for love Trouble and drugs, dangerous operations to us Famous for blazing up, every family of Stop it! Telling poison, telling poison to the head, time for dominance. I see ten times plates operate. Overhead, check the red skies and pop. 
on the authentic DVD. 750 Rebels. We kill cunts.